Hey guys, Marlon here. The next Diablo season starts in a few hours. To be more specific, on 6 p.m. European time. And I decided to give you like some tips of my own plans, like what's an efficient way to level, what's a good way to level, and how I can like get ahead of other people and stuff if um, you wanna do that. And also like tell you something about my own personal preparation of the game, like what I did outside of like game-related things. Now the first thing, I mean, on a season everyone starts at level one, so it's pretty clear that you have to do something. Now, for example, that's your level one character. And the first thing you can do is um, you go to um, whatever um, follower is good for your class. For example, if you play a Baron, you're gonna go to a Templar. If you play a Demon Hunter, you're gonna go to the Scoundrel. And you can immediately go on inventory skills, and you can equip a better weapon. So for example, you take the bow from the scoundrel, you steal the weapon here, equip it on yourself, and you just gain BAM! Like you more than double your DPS. So that's the first thing that's really important. Now the second thing is like, how do you want to level to 70 fast? Now currently there's um, two really efficient strategies. Um, one is like repeating a quest over and over and over again. Um, I'm not really a fan of like this, I even think it's an exploit, but it's probably not going to get fixed because um, what's gonna happen one day, um, but another method that's like equally fast almost is, or maybe even faster, I don't know, um, is to uh, farm in a very, very sp uh, good zone. Now there's different options, for example, there is, um, um, like kind of like back in the old Al Kaiser times, but now there's like no Nephelum Velas uh, buff anymore, so now it changed, like, now you just need to find like the best zone for leveling. And in my opinion, and the opinion of um, the people I'm playing with, the best zone is gonna be um, the Holes of Agony level 3. Now why, is the Holes of, now, why the Holes of Agony level 3? First, the mob density there is insane. So there's gonna be an insane mob density. Second, it's all easy monsters and a lot of melees. And um, it's giving a lot of experience. Like Each of the monsters gives a lot of experience. And I'm choosing this zone, for example, above the Weeping Hollow, because the Weeping Hollow has good mob density, but the problem is the monsters there don't give enough experience. I'm choosing it over Keep This 2, because Keep This 2 doesn't have the same amount of density that, as the Holes of Agony. And I'm choosing it over Fields of Misery, because Fields of Misery have some annoying mobs, like, for example, the trees and other stuff. And that's where, like, um, the strategy is pretty much you farm um, on normal mode first, um, over and over the Holes of Agony level 3, and that's a very, very efficient way to level. And on top of that, like while you do this, I mean, you also like look for a cursed chest event. So you look for uh, um, easy cursed chest you can pick up maybe in another map. And um, that's how you level pretty much. Now it's more efficient to do in a group, but if you play solo, it's still gonna be fine. And but other things that are important, for example, is um, when you reach certain levels, you need to buy a equip. For example, um, there's three vendors in Act 1. And there's one here, this one, and then there's one here and then there's another one up there and those vendors all sell gear and for example when you're high enough level this vendor here is actually going to be the most important one because this one is the one that sells armor um crossbows and also um jewelry now the others um they all, all of them sell armor and there's one that sells melee weapons and one that sells buns and but this one for example if you play demon hunter you want to go to this one for a crossbow and um, also for the jewelry. For jewelry, keep in mind, you need to be level 6 for rings, you need to be level 12 for amulet, and you need to be level 50 for socket. And it's really important to like buy those um, rings because they can have like min damage or max damage. And for example, a 2 to 4 um, damage ring, like 2 and min and 4 max damage, is going to increase the damage at low level by a lot. Because it's like more like look at your weapon, your weapon is like 2 to 9 damage. So it's like almost as much as the weapon has. That's really important. Of course, the gems are important, as I said. And the next important thing is um, level reduced uh, or items with reduced level requirement. Now, at level 45 and at level 60, you can get items. For example, at level 45, you can start crafting level 60 items and hope to get minus 15 level requirement. Now, you don't need to like craft until you get one, but you can also do is you can like craft an item and then try to like um, um, re roll it, go to the Mystic and change the stat on it and try to like achieve level or reduce level requirement that way. And another tip that I can give you is, for example, here, um, there's a certain stat can all, for example, um, SEC on the weapon. And if you already have SEC, like, for example, freeze on it or blind on it, then you should um, reroll another stat because it can only have um, one of those uh, stats. So, so the chance to like, get level reduced requirement is going to be much higher if you already have one of those free stats or CC stats. And at level 60, you can like do the same with level 70 items. You get a very strong level 70 item. And then, for example, level 60 to 61 is only going to take, let's say, 5 minutes or 10 minutes. And then, of course, it's going to take a bit longer. But overall, like, it should be done with that method in like 3 to 4 hours, depending on how fast the group is. And that's also what I'm going to do. And I think it's going to be very um, fast way to level. And of course, it might not be an interesting way. Like, maybe we want to do um, campaign again, or maybe we want to do. Um, 
different bounties, but that's perfectly fine as well. Like, there's no conquest anymore for reaching level 70 first. It's going to give you a small head start in, like, getting all the conquests or getting a high career rift ranking. But I think most of you guys are going to play for fun. So you should just, like, see this as an opportunity again to play the game or an opportunity to play with friends. And it's, I actually recommend most of you guys, like, unless you have super much time on your hands or unless you really are a competitive person, just play the game for fun and, like, don't look at the clear the lift. Real boss don't care if you're at number 5 or number 10 or even, let's say, number thousand or whatever just like play for yourself and try to find your own goals and have fun in the game now now we reach level 70 what i'm going to do after level 70 and after level 70 what i'm going to do first is i'm going to equip myself with normal mode bounties on normal mode bounties you can really rush it and you have a chance to get the first legendaries get your gear up to level 70 and then as soon as you're able to like handle torment one you want to go in a rift so at, at level 70 you want to go in a rift um, I mean, from the bounties, you get the entrance to the key. And on a tournament level rift, um, you get a greater rift key. And with the greater rift key, you can then go to, um, if you can do it, to tournament 2. That would be pretty good, because on tournament 2, there's a higher chance for legendaries, but more on that later. And then you uh, start doing the greater rifts. At greater rifts, um, you probably know the method already if you are into Diablo, but um, you do a greater rift, and then, um, let's say, there's 10 minutes left. You are like, you like spawn the key. Um, or the boss of the rift and then it's 90, uh, um, 10 minutes left what do you do then? then you don't want to kill him because if you kill him now you will get like say a greater rift um, rank 6 as your next uh, step but you want to go from greater rift 1 to greater rift 2 to greater rift 3 to greater rift 4 because each greater rift you're going to get a legendary gem so it's really important to like um manually uh, make sure that it's going to be a small or slow progression how can you achieve that well you just leave the rift so you tp out after you spawn the rift garden you need to tp out and then you press m and do a bounty for example you do this bounty then you do that bounty and you watch your um, bar you watch that and once the bar is like four minutes 30 seconds or less then you just go back to the rift again you kill the rift guardian and then you're going to get a, only a key that's only one level higher so from level one to level two and then you repeat it on level two um, with the bounties and doing the bounties to tournament 2 is better because Blizzard increases the legendary chance. Also, doing the rift on, or if you decide to do normal rifts again, um, I would do them mostly on tournament 1, but even on tournament 2, if you can handle it, it's also a good choice. But yeah, um, and then once you have good enough gear, um, you can really like, go for conquests already, or you can go for um, a very high rift ranking, or that kind of stuff. But that's pretty much like in the beginning how I'm going to gear up, and I think it's going to be a very efficient way, and if I'm really going to try a lot, like I'm going to do a 24-hour stream at the start, going to try to be um, one at the top or something, and yeah. Now, second part I wanted to cover is like, my personal preparation. Now, if you know me, you probably know already, nothing goes without this kind of stuff. I should like stop drinking this because it's really not healthy. Um, but you know, for special occasions, you know that marathon again in a year. I mean, it's, it's my first marathon this year, actually, yeah. Um, you know, you gotta do stuff like that. Also, like, I even like got junk food that I never eat otherwise because I'm actually eating pretty healthy right now. But you know, for a marathon, when you like really need to like stay at home five days in a row or something, not leave your apartment, really like focus on the game, play 16, 18 hours a day. Uh, I mean, my life is going to consist of like playing Diablo and, and, and sleeping like five hours a day for the next few days. But I really want to achieve something. I really want to do well in those grafts. And for me, this is like fun to play like really hardcore for a few days. But as I said, like you guys just play for fun. Hopefully, I got some nice tips out of this video. And I wish you all a, lo a lot of fun, a lot of enjoyment of next rift season. And maybe I can see you even on my stream or on videos that I make. Thank you guys for watching. Good luck tomorrow. I'll be back.